Welcome to a brief demonstration of Preactor, the world's most popular production scheduling tool. In the last 15 years, Preactor has been installed in more than 2,300 companies in 64 countries and in almost every type of manufacturing sector. Among a wide range of clients, there are well-known companies from apparel, automotive, aerospace, chemicals, electronics, food and beverages, metals, pharmaceuticals, plastics, paper making, printing, packaging and textiles, as well as services and logistics companies such as airports, seaports and mining. Preactor's success has been built on three main attributes. The first is the product's inbuilt customizability that allows even the most complex of processes to be modelled without modifying or recompiling its core code. The second is the ease of integration with other software such as spreadsheets, accounting systems, ERP, MES, SCADA, forecasting and shop floor data collection packages. The third reason is the availability of trained and accredited local resources to assist users with the customization and implementation process, as well as ongoing support after go live. So, no matter whether you are in a traditional manufacturing company or involved in managing ports, airports, transportation or other logistics operations, Preacta can provide a solution to meet your unique needs. So what is Preacta? For companies who require greater control of their operations, increased customer service while becoming leaner and more agile, Preactor is a software package that provides the planner with an interactive decision support tool that balances demand and capacity. This is a brief demonstration of Preactor being used in a job shop environment. There are additional demonstrations available for more complex applications or set up for different industry verticals. This is the Preactor sequencer screen. The unallocated jobs window displays an icon for each order that is not yet scheduled. This is the operations window. This displays additional information about each order and can be expanded to display all operations in each order. This is the sequence overview window. It is an interactive Gantt chart that will display the sequence of operations assigned to each resource when the schedule is generated. Icons can be customised for each product for easy identification. Order and operation attributes can be displayed when you point at an icon with the mouse. To load the orders onto the schedule, first select the direction of operation loading, forward, backward or bidirectional. Then select the sequence in which to load the orders, by priority, lowest value first, by reverse priority, by due date, earliest first, or by schedule file order. Click on the sequence button to sequence the operations for each order onto the Gantt chart. The schedule has now been created. Maximise the overview. The sequence overview is a Gantt chart with resources listed on the vertical axis. Hold the mouse pointer over each resource to show resource attributes. The horizontal axis shows the date and time. The blue shaded areas show off shift periods. The white areas represent on shift time. Each of the colour bars represent an operation allocated to the resource. The black portion at the front marks the start and end of the setup. Highlight the route for an order using the Alt key and click on one of the operations. The process steps and flow for each order are highlighted. Click without Alt to highlight all operations. The Gantt chart is interactive. You can drag and drop an operation in time and from one resource to another.
Warnings are given if all the resources needed are not available at the time selected. You can use the undo button to reset. Order A006 is highlighted red, which indicates that it will be late. Double click to edit its priority. Change the priority to 1. Use the Unallocate button to remove orders from the schedule, then the Sequence button to produce a new schedule. A new schedule has been created with Order A006 priority set to 1. Highlight A006 to see the route for the order with a priority of 1. Use the Undo button to return to the previous schedule. This is the schedule with the priority of A006 set to 10. Use Redo to reload the schedule with A006 set to a priority of 1.